<laughs> Look what the cat dragged in. All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Let's do this. It's the uh, tier six infestation at Hagashi Pharmaceuticals. All right, well, let's hit it. So I wouldn't say that I'm fully decked out right now. I brought some extra rounds with me and uh, hopefully I'll just find some more while I'm going through here and we'll probably just primarily lean into the shotgun. And do I have any skill points to spend? Just one. Well, there's nothing I can do that will help me in terms of combat. Oh, you know what we should probably do though is um, get a forgetting elixir. If we don't get one here, we might just pull one out of this place out of the main loot there. But uh, how about a point into gunslinger? I'd like to move our uh, machine gunner points and our forage points over into agility more since we're really not using anything in fortitude other than machine gunner maybe someday anyway i don't think a whole lot has changed here we're just here to kill a whole bunch of zombies so let's do this All right, here it is, my friends. That was an epic montage, I hope. So we're at the rooftop now, and I've not really found anything good for loot. Uh, I've left a lot of stuff behind just because it's clutter at this point. But uh, I do have plenty of stuff here for the main boss battle. So let's go ahead and take a Blackstrap coffee, Recog, Fort Bites, and a preemptive first aid kit. Oh, and who could forget the Mega Crush? I bought a whole bunch of extra Mega Crush. There's been three working vending machines here, and I think that will just about do it. Lock and load, and let's roll here. Where are they? They're usually uh, mostly out here and up onto the rooftop, so I guess that was a little bit anticlimactic there. <laughs> they want to kind of bait you in. Here they are. Hello, everybody. Go ahead and wake right up for me. How many are there anyway? Probably, oh, wow, a lot. <laughs> it's freaking Horde Night on Hagashi. All right, well, if I can cluster them up, I can kind of get some explosive action in, I think. Okay, here we go. Get up here and just start hucking the contact grenades. Here we go. All right, Whoop. see if I can maybe get some of the birds out of here at least. There's a couple. Ah, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, getting hurt, bad. Nope, 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 whoa, that was close. Okay, definitely need some first aid after that. And some freaking automatic weapon fire probably wouldn't hurt either. Bleeding again, because there's always somebody behind me here. <laughs> Another first aid kit. All right, let's see if we can string them down below a little bit. Bring them in here. 
All right, here's a few trickling in this way. Take right care of them. Who's behind me? Dog. Oh, there's the main loot room right there. Let's just open that up. Get ready for it. Dog again. Oh yeah, this is, um, oh, tip for the dogs. It's uh, not too bad going this way here. I'm gonna just hide in the stairwell for just a second while I bandage myself again. And I have a concussion. Just go ahead and take a painkiller for that. And uh, yeah, hydration's still looking good. Nothing sprained, nothing broken. All right, we proceed. Whoop, we got a rad biker here. Not messing around with that guy. Never mess around with this guy. Not worth it trying to go with the melee. Regular bikers, not quite so bad. Okay, and I've got two left on the compass and, you know, fingers crossed if there's just no more that I've missed somewhere. It's pretty easy to do here. People like fall out of a window. They're down at the ground level. Uh, here's one of them right here. Kill you. Who's the last one? It's a lumberjack. I can hear him rolling around somewhere. Okay, I guess the question is high or low? Let's check high first. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I hit him with the contact grenade and knocked all of his limbs off. Goodbye. And that is it. Infested clear, all done. You know, this one was not bad at all. I feel like just regular Hagashi was, you know, pretty much equally bad to this, the, the infested version. And they didn't seem to really change anything around to make it so that, uh, you know, I've been calling it the hammer and anvil where they, they spawn zombies in front and behind you and trap you somewhere. That seems to be the uh, the theme at the new tier fives, which in my opinion are significantly harder. All right, let's get into this main loot and see if we can find anything good. Anything at all worth our time here. It's kind of interesting. The uh, infested cache spawned in the same spot as that weapons bag did. The infested cache has two, a, a total of 20 blade traps in it. Interesting. Another steel shovel, which is ridiculous. That's the third one I've pulled out of an infested cache. Freaking light bulb, don't need that. All right, main chest. And just like that, I unlocked the gyrocopter. Here we go. We've got another sledgehammer here. Lucky looter book for 20% more ammunition and loot and an auto turret bundle. Pretty much like leave half of this stuff here. We don't need oil. We don't need parts <laughs> to get rid of all of this stuff. And I will take that bundle, the silver for some reason. Oh, whatever, I don't need any of this stuff at this point. My goodness, what am I doing? Well, let's get out of here, go back to the trader. I bet you a dollar I'm gonna break a leg doing this, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay, here we go, not too bad. Yeah, this is the easy way down, I think. And there we go, just got a little dehydrated, so I'll take one of those yucca smoothies that I brought. I spent a total of like 10 grand here in vending machines, just buying coffee and stuff. All right, I'll meet you over at Jen's. All right, here we are, I didn't have very far to go anyway. Let's clear out these zombies and check on the vending machine. It's been a while since I've done that. All right, survey says, oh. Oh no, I've, I, um, the rental expired, I think on day 43. So I lost all that stone that was in there. Oh boy, I didn't realize that would happen. Whoops. Anyway, let's see what we get for a reward. Um, yeah. Wow, I didn't think you had it in. Rocket launcher tier six. Oh, that's definitely what I'll take. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, there it is. Yes, vanity tower. I've got it. Nice. All right, we'll do that first thing in the morning then. Oh, right. Yeah, there's nothing in here. We've checked this before. Oh, a forgetting elixir. I think I will end up taking that because I want to, uh, like I said before, I want to respec into agility. Yep. Okay, that's it. Let's go home. So I did learn something new recently. So I finally figured out why the zombies are digging down at our horde base. And that's because, whoops. Thank you. I I went back and I rewatched the old um, dev live streams back from uh, Alpha 19 to Alpha 20. Excuse me, Alpha 20 to 21. And uh, that's because I was making the Alpha 22 preview and I, need, I needed to get all that footage and stuff. And they um, they discussed at length some of the performance increases that are happening with um, Alpha 21 here. And basically, whoa, watch out for the pool table there. Uh, basically what happened is they introduced a new mechanism to get better performance on Horde Knight, which includes zombie throttling, which means that some zombies that are not as close to you get a different, less complex version of their AI. And, um, that means that, you know, in, when I have 64 zombies down here on Horde Knight, not all 64 of them are behaving the way I would expect them to, the way a normal Horde Knight zombie would. And so what that basically translates to for us here is that some of the zombies that are really, really far away topside will spawn in and they'll be given a dumbed down version of AI, which can't figure out the whole pathing system to us. And um, that just 
basically that means that they're gonna start digging okay do you think we need some more sewing kits or what <laughs> put some of those on the ground i don't need this crap trying to make some room for all the new bundles that we got Jeez. oh and those were yeah smg turrets again which is kind of cool and it looks like the sledgehammer that i got ages ago is still better than the the five or six that i found since then that have been tier six. Oh my goodness is that my first bandolier mod that i have found in this entire playthrough i think it is Wow, that is awesome. All, after all this time to get that 15% reload speed. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, take that forgetting elixir. We'll spend the skill points in just a second. So I ended up finding a pair of agility goggles in the Higashi Pharmaceutical Lab. So I can um, kind of cheese that last agility point there. That gives me five points into Gunslinger. Awesome. And we'll take three into Run and Gun and uh, two into Parkour. I think two is probably better than uh four because honestly well that actually prevents you from getting the broken leg there doesn't it okay let's go ahead and take four then sometimes it, it definitely it stinks because you jump too high you hit your head off something but uh, anyway we got 22 left i'm not even going to take points into like minor 69er and stuff because we're not really doing much mining now so instead we'll take uh points into intellect and see if we can uh crank up uh, i don't know advanced engineering daring adventurer better barter let's do daring adventurer uh, i don't think we'll be able to max it out though unfortunately wait a minute i think i can max it out that's 10 into intellect there and then four into daring adventurer oh my goodness that's awesome and then i'll just take um uh two into advanced engineering i guess that help on the steel crafting a little bit speaking of let's get another 285 steel out of this and i honestly don't think that we're going to need to do any more um, iron mining or even clay mining because we're out of clay too. All I really want to upgrade is the ladder, the the block here, and uh, all of this is already steel so it just needs to be upgraded uh, or repaired. And then this side is all concrete so I'll want to do a little bit of work on this side too. And um, that's pretty much it. In fact, why don't we just get started on that a little bit tonight since there's nothing else going on. I don't really want to go to Vanity Tower until daylight so that we have it, like better visibility. Okay, so yeah, the, the issue we were having before was the blocks in the middle were getting damaged quite a bit. So we don't, we want to get those upgraded as much as possible. And then the ladder pieces as well, fully upgraded, fully repaired. Um, there's a crawler that fell down on top of that blade trap and... He doesn't want to fall anymore, so I'll do it for him. So um, what I've been working on kind of uh, in my free time here lately is I've made, um, if you recall, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you might recall the GNS zombie spawning mod that I made back during, I think it was the, um, the Borderline series. And um, basically that just adds in some flavor zombies for Horde Knight. It adds in like a rare chance for bear to spawn. It adds in mutated zombies and... I think that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, the burning zombies, like the uh, the feral burnt zombie, just because he looks kind of cool. And for some reason, he's not. Well, the reason he's not in the typical spawn list is because it'll tax your system a little bit. But that's not something I'm worried about personally. So I've thrown him in there as well. So, yeah, this upcoming horde should have a uh, bear. Whoops. Oh, ow. It should have bear uh, mutated zombies and um, some burnt zombies. There's also the a part of the mod is... Um, adding a whole like it triples the amount of zombies that you'll see in um a wandering horde oh there's a screamer here and so if we do see a wandering horde here in the next uh, day or two it should be like you know 30 zombies or something like that and that's pretty much how i like to play it's how i'll play from now on probably hello kill you did you scream so good times i'll make sure that i make the, all of my mods available to you guys eventually i still need to kind of sort out if there's any bugs and kind of test it out feel it out for myself you know what i mean because uh, i can't just release something that's completely untested right oh the other thing is that uh, i've made changes so i used to use um something called what was it called um it was weather of clear skies weather of the apocalypse was the name of the mod and i'm not sure if that's updated for alpha 21 or not but um i always like based my weather mod off of that weather mod but i've gone ahead now and just made entirely my own weather mod and basically what it'll do is you know clear skies it'll um greatly reduce the chance for foul weather storms fogs things like that um but it will also reduce the amount of fog on horde night so you can kind of see things more clearly and so i can finally call that like 
my mod, and so I will be releasing that as well. Probably the same time as I release everything else. Jeez, I need a first aid kit after I've been shot by darts so often. <laughs> All right, just hoping that my nail gun holds out for these final upgrades over here. I'm not sure that this is anything in particular that's important, but I'm still gonna finish it off just to call it done. What I'm really up here to do is fix this. I noticed that they did take out this one block here, so, and yep, that, there was a digger that was there, so that's kind of scary. There's actually a whole bunch of them. Oh, look at this. All right, who's hitting on stuff? Big Mama, stop that. About to break in here. Yeah, that's that's the, the bad thing. And, and you know, I think the reason why this works so good is because the zombies, they're so dumbed down that even though they want to go inside and break stuff, they, um, they can't even figure out how to hit their way in. <laughs> they just kind of like walk against the fence and do nothing. They're much dumber than, say, Tommy here. Tommy's pretty stupid, though. Yes, he just really minimal damage out here. That's not to say that this is like a fail-safe system. See, they almost broke into this one. And by no means do I ever recommend anyone ever build a base at Bedrock anymore. Just don't. Don't do it. There's so many better ways to build a base. Ooh, got another broken block here. Oh, that's it. The nail gun is busted. Gonna have to come back up here anyway to do painting, and I'll do some final repairs while I'm up here. All right, what do you say we pack up and head out to Vanity Tower? See what we can do there. All right, here it is, the Vanity Tower. Help. <laughs> I'm gonna need some help before the end of this, that's for sure. Okay, what's the deal here anyway? We gotta jump, uh, oh, staircase here, over around. Oh, is that where you have to go in? Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. Okay, I have not set foot inside this place for any reason whatsoever. Not for filming, not for exploring, not for preparation. Haven't cleared it out in any other playthrough, and I'm doing it on a tier six infestation. And let's just check on my stats here. Level 77. 5,500 zombie kills, one death. All right, lock and load. And I think we should be able to jump in here relatively safely. I don't think that they would just ambush you like that. Yeah, we're good here. Oh, just go ahead and open that. I think I parked at the end of the thing over here. Okay, dog kennel means, uh, you know, 80% chance there's a dog here somewhere. Ah, okay, they're in the ceiling. What a surprise, right? Oh. And I'm bleeding! Oh, jeez, man, these lumberjacks are tough. I think it's mostly Arlene, honestly. Damn it, Arlene. Ah. Oh my god, I'm like, con I'm double concussed. I've been concussed like three times today already. Go ahead and take a painkiller to fix that. And we got a bird here. I think it's just a regular bird, not really a POI bird. He just sensed my weakness. Oh my god. Oh, he, <laughs> he fell through the ventilation duct. That's great. Oh yes, I did make it so that you could take all all these signs. So for, forbidden to smoke, we can put that somewhere. Don't need two, I don't think. One should get the message across, right? Uh, button for... Oh, this, oh geez, hello. Get the guns, get the guns. Hello, get back. Oh, for some reason, the uh, point blank fire with the shotgun doesn't work too well sometimes. Killer Joe, not today, buddy. You had your chance at the Higashi place. That's where I died in the last series. Oh, you know what? That's probably the next mod I need to do is to figure out how I can make it so that I can change the color on lights. That would be great for the beautiful bases mod. Okay, nothing here. I guess we're just gonna go further into the industrial area. That's gotta be a trap. Oh, nope, here we go. All right, we got level five. Uh, pistol peed or whatever the freaking skill is. The pistol skill. Still doesn't seem to work particularly well. I, I left the, um, the armor piercing rounds at home, unfortunately. Forgot all about them. Whatever. I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, pretty much good on all books and stuff. In fact, I actually maxed out the handgun, uh, the, um, what was it? The... The Magnum Enforcer series when I was in the Higashi place. Not sure what that does though. All shots with 44 ammo penetrate the enemies and you can bolt craft your ammo, not too bad. If I could get a desert vulture, I'd be all squared away. Massive elevator shaft there. This is, um, presumably this is the way to go though. A radiated burnt zombie, that is a rare find there. Oh, and this is, ooh, something sneaky back there, wait. How do I fix that then? 
There's a valve up here, right there. Oh, which actually spawned him in. Love that. <laughs> really creative there, TFP. And that just, oh, gives me an ammo pile and like a little medical bag there. Well, we can take the bandage, stay topped off. And there's that valve there, which is nothing. These are actually brass though, if I recall. Just not very much. So this is the lobby. So I do actually remember the dev live streams where they kind of showed us the lobby of this place. And I know that there's an ambush here. So one surprise is not gonna get me. And I think they like, Oh, yeah, they're everywhere. Go, biker. Okay, get the guns. Wow, yes, <laughs> many zombies. Here, bring them to this door and get ready with a grenade. Contact grenades, they're absolutely perfect for this. Wait until they open it. Wait until you see the whites in their eyes. Fire! Take that. Got another chance here. Wait for that cop to blow up. He'll probably do all the work for me. There we go. Yep, drum mag, awesome. All done. Scream right here already too. I can hear her outside somewhere. There she is right there. I don't know if she can see me. <laughs> she can definitely see me, okay. I guess we gotta break through here. Not sure that I have to go all the way through. I think this will probably do it. Okay, I think we're good on that front. I can still hear some zombie in here. Oh, nice steel spear. Wow, I got an actual friggin' weapon out of a piece of loot for once in my life. Okay, but as far as I can tell, I think we're done here, and I think this spiral staircase here is the way up to the kind of balcony area over here, which I think is where that zombie is, and I think all the zombies that we just fought kind of came from this area, so hopefully we're all set. Nope! Oh, we got a whole bunch more here. Oh, okay, Rad Cop! I mean, yeah, Rad Cop and Rad Biker again. Rad Arlene, probably the most fearsome of all. Key box here, which goes to, oh, the outer balcony area. Probably gonna be a fight here. Indeed. Whoops. Missed. Oh, dog. Crap. Dogs and birds. Dogs and birds. Not good. Ah, run. Get the friggin' guns out. Oh, wait. Use my parkour skills. Get up here. And take care of these guys. Ah, oh, god. Concussion again. Yep. Take the painkiller. Oh, boy. Cop's gonna spit. Don't let him do it. That. Oh, I was gonna say, friggin' Feral White there had some hops. Ow. Oh, these stupid friggin', um. What are they called? Okay, I'm bleeding. Lumberjacks. Mild infection. I didn't bring anything for that, but that's okay. We should be able to last long enough until I get home. All clear? Yes. Am I thirsty? I am a little bit thirsty. Let's go ahead and just top off with some uh, pool water here. If I can. Here we go. Okay, into the gym area. Again, with the Moe's Fat Mamas and Tourists in the gym. <laughs> ah, the TFP. They got a good sense of humor sometimes. Look at that, three bullets and killed five zombies. Shells, excuse me. Oh, we got a couple of vending machines here. One of them is working. Oh, five mega crush. So nice. Yeah, I think there's a zombie over there. Feral White? Jake? Whoa, Jake and a whole bunch of others. Yeah, I, I immediately don't like the, the whole residential area here. Do I need to go through any of these doors for any reason? I mean, it's not particularly difficult to do so. This just goes out to a balcony. Oh, see, now I'm just finding a whole bunch of handgun magazines. Oh, look what I found over here. Whoa, look out! Wow, that was close. Snake! Why is there a snake up here? Oh, don't let him do that. Yo, I found the snake place right here. This is the guy, this is the kid, I think, that had this pet snakes. Okay, oh my god, we've got like six levels to go. My, well, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the roof. Kind of starting to regret not bringing more ammo. I'm halfway through all of my ammo, pretty much. I still have some slugs that I brought. I was expecting to find more, but, um, yeah, being an apartment, I don't think you're gonna find a whole lot of ammo here. Let's just tr try to lean into the, um, melee a little bit. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, take cover! Whoa! Not gonna fuss around with that guy too much. Okay, that was better. Yeah, I was gonna say, last time I turned a corner like this, I woke up a whole bunch of zombies. This time, no different. 
Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I can't swing fast enough. No, oh, I broke something. Oh, jeez. Also bleeding. Go ahead and take a first aid kit. Where's my drone? My drone has all the good first aid in it. Oh, of course. Oh, no, no. I, I lost the skill point that was in physician that gave me the ability to cure my sprains. So, okay, yeah, let's just take that point then and take the cast. And yes, much better. That was for my sprained leg. Who's here? Oh, mutated. Goodbye. Okay, here we go. Some first aid in here. Oh, there's some honey right there, just in time to fix that infection. There's still just a whole mess of zombies downstairs, messing up my frame rate. What's that? Some zombies here. I want to check this. Oh, that's like a, a tech box, Mo Power box. For some reason, it was already open. Oh boy! Hello there. Oh, don't don't fall too far. You dead? Nope. Stop that. Another Mo Power box here with no, you know, box. A stone sledgehammer, are you joking right now? How could I possibly be finding level two stone sledge? That's a day one item right there. Like the one time I actually find an item in a duffel bag. Is that another freaking biker in there? Of course it is. Just lay into him a little bit. I think he had a friend with him too, a couple of them. Oh, there we go. Good loot bag. What was in this? Sharp sticks. Was in this, mm, not much, oh, some ammo, great. Oh, got a lumberjack in here. Are you the only one? No, I've got like five on the compass. Wakey, wakey. Damn, they're tough, aren't they? Three direct hits to the head. Okay, so I just went up onto this loft and this is gonna, gonna be one of those places where it's just like up and down and in and out and, oh, here we go. Yeah, guys, don't fall, be careful, please. I said be careful. Oh, another one went down. No, guys. That's one down. That's two down. Oh, here we go. There was a fire in this apartment. Oh, my goodness. Why are you guys hiding in there? Adam Miles and uh, Isaac something here. Just die. Okay, we are now... Oh, just in and out of the elevator. Oh, here we go. Ah! Crap. I'm getting hurt pretty badly here. Those bikers, they're terrible. Okay, here we go. I just gotta be careful with the ammo here now. Regrettably, I didn't bring enough of it. I should have just packed up the drone with it. I mean, it, it... Oh, you're still alive? It worked well enough on the Higashi place. I mean, I went through that place. 90% melee, though. Hey, a college jacket! Look at that! Nice! That uh, replaces the friggin' leather poncho I've been wearing for ages. Jeez, get rid of that thing. Oh, look, a weapons bag over here. That could possibly have some ammo in it. What do we get? Nothing. Jeez, junk. What, too many parts. Way too many parts in this game. Okay, now I'm lost. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, the stairs. <laughs> too much sense. Up to seven. Seven of nine, maybe? Don't need that in the way. Yeah. Oh, another biker. Why are there so many bikers here? It's like the freaking Hell's Angels Tower here. <laughs> Just back and forth, back and forth. Finally got him, there we go. Oh man, I feel so much lighter on my feet now with the uh, the college jacket. It's just night and day difference to me. Yo, here we go again. Look out! Yep, oh my god, we got a whole slew of bikers here. Get ready! They're gonna break through that door any second now. There it is! Take that! He's gonna blow! Wow. Okay. That'll be good. I'm gonna switch over to the freaking slugs. Okay, make sure we're staying topped off here. We got a massive abrasion, so let's go with the first aid kit. I got a bunch of extras in the drone anyway. And um, this looks like it's probably the way to go here. Okay, what's next? What's next? Arlene and Marlene. And some cops. Oh boy. Ow. Nope. <laughs> Cast again. No, it's just a stun. Thank goodness. All set here. A couple cans of dog food for my troubles. And ooh, some more ammo. Nice. I kind of miss the days. You know, they made um, Grandpa's Learning Elixir, Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir. Not not the Forgetting Elixir, the, the awesome sauce. They made that so easy to just purchase that there's no reason to craft that stuff anymore. Not at all. Who's behind me? Oh, 
freaking dog level here. I'm trying to get him before he falls off. Deck is like dog food and acid. You used to have to collect that stuff to, to craft, to craft the good stuff, the learning elixir and all that. But now it's just like, whatever. Plus, now you have to wait so long to get the recipe for it through the cooking magazines, which, you know, makes me think that they'll probably change it. They'll probably realize that and then they'll change it again. And then, oh, geez, it's just changing stuff left and right. There is no hope. Hmm. Interesting choice of words there, given the, uh, the upcoming series. <laughs> YouTube members and patrons will know what I'm talking about, I think. What's going on here? Hello? Ah! Close that door. Just you? Who are you? Agnes. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, that's friggin' creepy. Somebody, uh, somebody lost their son and made a shrine to them. Ugh. Anything behind that? Well, I'm gonna clean up this mess for him. Oh, you know, I've got all these mecha crushes. Might as well take one, I guess. A little bit thirsty anyway. Oh, did I see some green in there? I did. Well, take that. Got some sneak damage. Ooh. I just don't like this at all. That's locked. Great. Now I'm trapped. Oh, boy. Guns! Freaking bikers! Ah! Okay. I feel less panicked now. It's still not in a really good spot, though. Get back, get back, get back! I can't see through the flames! Ah, oh, god damn it. What a mess up here. What the hell? Who the hell lived here? They're gonna lose their security deposit, that's for sure. Yeah, here we go again with the random zombies everywhere. Jeez, so many of them. And much tighter quarters than uh, something like Higashi that we did earlier. Oh! Oh! Wait, what? No, I've been here before. I'm good. Look, I can fly! Oh, no! Jeez! See what I mean with the parkour getting me killed? <laughs> I almost <laughs> went for a real flight. It wouldn't have hurt me too bad. It would have just been a huge inconvenience. Whoop! Oh! Jeez! Group knockdown, you gotta love it. You know, someone left me a comment earlier because I was talking about how the sledgehammer is the best weapon in the game and they were like, no, the hunting knife is the best weapon in the game. And, you know, technically, you, yes, you're correct. I'll give you that. I think if you calculate DPS, the hunting knife is the best. But, you know, if you want to go against me head to head in PvP, you know, <laughs> sledgehammer versus hunting knife, I will wreck you. Anyone would. I mean, it's not like a skill thing. It's <laughs> just one whack with the sledgehammer and you're toast. I mean, what would you rather have here going against a whole bunch of radiated bikers? A hunting knife or the sledgehammer where you can get a nice good group knockdown? You know what we're going to do in the next series though is do the stun baton because everyone's telling me the stun baton is great and uh, the pipe baton got a buff. Is Are we just going straight up to the rooftop now or what? I freaking hope so. Maybe it's like up to the rooftop and then you go down to the one of the floors below and that's where the loot is. I really don't know where the loot is. There's an X, okay, there's a biker over there. No surprise. A ladder going to the rooftop area. I do see nice wide open spaces and I've got the parkour now. So let me out here. I thought I might see some birds. Pretty quiet though so far, honestly. Decap him. For some reason his arm fell off. <laughs> Uh, this game sometimes. Here's the birds. Gotcha. And this this is a big fight here. I uh whoop. Yep, get me up here. And oh boy, cops shooting at me. Okay, I have got the high ground, but yeah, I wanna be kind of uh in wide open spaces here. This this will do. I like this. I can work with this. You don't you dare jump off the side there, donkey. All right, this is it. This is the battle. Ah, whoa, taking fire. Got the target penetration with the slugs. That helps. Someone jumped off the edge. I just saw a freaking hazmat boy do it. He YOLO'd it. Who's this? Gav? Get out of here. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. All right, uh, we're good. I think got three more on the compass or so. Another mutated zombie here. Okay, uh, that kind of felt like main loot type of fight, but, you know, that would have felt like a main loot fight if it was vanilla. This is infestation, so I'm expecting the main fight to be a heck of a lot worse than that. Okay, was I right that we're gonna do an up and down kind of thing? Unlocked generator. For all the generators that you see in these tier fives, none of them are restore powers, right? What's this? Oh, okay. That goes down. This goes 
down, but I think this is where I uh, came from. I didn't check that ammo pile, though. Something behind me. Okay, well, whoops. I suspect this is probably the end, so we'll do first aid kit, mega crush, potato, and recog. We'll save the SMG for the, uh, the final moments. Yeah, here we go. There's the main loot. Okay, this is it. Wow, oh my god, this is the moment, the moment is here. Ah, run outside. I'm gonna end up hosing my main loot. I think I lost the infested cash chest there. Not much I can do about that though. Okay, we've got a good chance for armor penetration here, baby. Let him have it. Get back, get back. This is it. The end. Wow. Wow, is that it? Pretty much. Just the the final couple of zombies here. Wow, actually, not really. A bunch of them just got pretty confused. Oh, no, the infested cache is right there. Grab that before it gets destroyed. Nice pair of steel knucks in there. Okay, nope, we're good. I got the run speed. Got the jumps as well. All right. Um, return to Trader. Actually, um, that I'm surprised because uh, I thought we lost a few over the edge there. Maybe they uh, respawned or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's get the main loot and get the hell out of here. Whew, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't shaking a little bit after that one. That was crazy. Look at all these boxes that have been opened, but fortunately not destroyed bookstore box here just reading everything at this point who cares uh some parts don't need that even got a couple of loot bags here of course not much going on in these oh and i also got another blade trap bundle another auto turret bundle off of the infested cache there oh i was just trying to think of like why why is this taking so long and why am i using so much stamina because i lost all the points that i had put into minor 69er okay do i have any skill points <laughs> no i don't oh whatever i'll have to remember to get some lock picks or something i didn't bring anything with me all right get ready to fly we gotta kind of hustle back over to jen's and get our quest reward another blade trap bundle otherwise not much couple of lock picks and we let's get off of this building here in a hurry and get onto the bike which is right over here gotta love having those parkour points all right i'll meet you at jen's all right and we took the points into daring adventurer right i want to double check that before we proceed daring adventurer level four that's two quest rewards and you know what that quest there was uh, the last one of the infestation line that was number Amazing. seven so I hope you like your we can get the i'll take the impact driver level six i don't know i'll take the steel i guess and here it is the quest reward bundle we're gonna have to take the forged steel and uh, <laughs> this is so bad there's literally nothing that I need in here. I'll take the military armor. If anything, just kind of sell it. And that is it. We have completed the entire quest line. The only challenge that we have not yet conquered is the last remaining horde. The day 49 horde. The seventh horde. All right, let's get that infection treated. And I will get everything put away and organized. And we will pick things up uh, first thing tomorrow morning. And we will fight off our final horde. The final episode of the series. I hope you join me for that. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.